Hey everyone, today I decided to, uh, we're going to go ahead and go out here um, and hit the event for a little bit. Um, it's going to work up our uh, Zahir challenge there. Um, and we'll see what we can't get to drop. Um, I actually haven't hunted these very much. Um, the, these events are only at the end of the month. Um, and so this is actually the first one I've been able to get out to. Um, I know that there's a ultra super super incredibly rare uh, page drop that's possible I think on any mob during the event but for sure on the the event mobs there's a, a chance but uh, looking at the page drop list it looks like a couple came out of like CUHOF1 and uh, non non event mobs um, and so I lean towards any mob can drop it during the event period but again, um, I don't have anything other than that to base it on. Oh, well, we'll shoot down. See, there's a couple of people out here. And uh, we're going to join them. We'll shoot some of these guys. And uh, post up kind of away from some of the other people, hopefully. Find our little niche corner. And then we'll turn through and we'll get one codex for sure because we're only 8.5% away. And because we're going to be out here for a second, I'm going to go ahead and take a skill pill. Um, just because I'm going to have to heal and everything. And so. And I have the, the chat up. Um, uh, over there on the left, just so that I can see if uh, one of the boss mobs spawns. So every so many kills, there's a level 80 boss that spawns. Um, and if that happens, I'd like to kind of get in on that so we can see what that drops as well. Uh, looks like there's like five or so of us out here, so we might be able to drop the boss. I think it's attached an area effect because last night when I hit it um, for about 10 minutes because uh, they had called for some help so I went to see if I could be of help. Um, it was only hit for like 6 or 8 and so I think it's an area effect that gets distributed amongst everyone. So I'm seeing a bunch of eye oil it looks like. Shrapnel. And these have a fair amount of hit points. That was a nice hit. Uh, yeah, back off. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, I bet someone died. I don't know. I want to kill that one that has almost no life left. It's a shared loot mob, so I'll get some loot off of it. But I think maybe uh, homies come on his way back. I wonder if these count for the daily um, chief kill mission. I'm going to have to check that out. I'll pull that up during the next one I pull. Oh, that was a nice little hit. So let's see where that would be. It would be under this. It does not, I don't think. Well.
And so, nah, it doesn't count on the daily mission. So that's a bummer. Um, it does count towards Codex, um, but not the daily mission. And you can see these overpower my armor um, a little bit with just the pixie and the two A plates on. Um, but they're not doing so much damage that I really want to switch over to that mayhem armor. Um, just because it's limited and uh, one of the pieces is starting to wear a little low. And I'm told that this uh, first aid pack from uh, Cyrene still doesn't factor into loot. Um, that's a bummer. I still like using it, though. Um, but it's 100% cost. You don't get any of it back. So the two event mobs I found so far are these G Zahir hosts, and then I found Evolved Wahesh in two spots, but the Evolved Wahesh are definitely uh, out of my zone. I think one of them was like level 84 or something like that. Oh, and it looks like these uh, jeeps are mutants. I see I'm getting some scourging skill. Whoa, whoa. Let's heal first. We're going to go and get rid of that mission since it's not actually counting. And so I'm just trying to burn out this Inca Dyer S5 um, that I bought when I first landed here on Toland. Um, there weren't a lot of guns in the auction house. Um, and this one was pretty low markup, so I picked it up. I've been pretty happy with it, honestly. I like it. Um, it's a little low for these guys. I would maybe go to a LR25. Well, let's see. I got a 25. Let's see how fast they die. Well, it's definitely quicker, but still not amazing. Oh, that was a nice little shot, though. So, yeah, th th it's definitely better with the LR25 or a 30. Um, but I'm going to switch back. We're going to work on burning that other gun out. Um, the LR25 is great for a whole round of the, the low-mid mobs, as I like to call it, or the mid-low mobs. Um, things like the Bari, um, these low Jeeps, the Jeep Kahir in, and the Zahir both are on level 10. The higher level Dahars, um, which are like the four-legged ape looking things. I don't, I'm not real sure how to describe them. Let's see what we're getting here. So I like to take rewards immediately. Um... That's a looting reward. Anatomy's a looting reward. Let's, we're going to take some combat reflexes. That's a defensive reward. And, and applies into some other stuff. But you see our Vader went up a little bit. So that's really why I took that one. And so we're going to go back. We're going to work a little up. Um towards the next codex rank. I'm not sure we'll get the whole way um, today, but 
we'll at least make some progress there. And so normally there's um, cab tabs that spawn in this guardian village um, right outside the village area. Um, but ev once a month it gets subbed out for this um, for the uh, end of the month event that they host. I wouldn't have to heal as much if I was using a bigger gun, too. But, yep. It also looks like all the event mobs are shared loot, um, which is nice. It means that you guys, you don't have to be teamed um, to be able to help each other out and get a portion of the loot. Um, that way it's not just uh, winner takes all, so to speak, where the person who does 51% of the damage gets all the loot. Looks like one of them uh, global is pretty good. A three digit global or so. I didn't see it, I but it only pops up on the top of my screen. Um, I have it set to where the global's got to be pretty huge. Basically, the Hall of Fame or an EP4 global is the only thing that's going to pop up. I think I have it set to the 2000 pet or higher. Um, just because before it would just like pop up all the time. They don't seem to have a really big aggro radius, um, and that's pretty nice. Turn off a couple of these channels. There we go. I saw someone say wave three of four, so. Maybe we'll go check out a couple of the wave events um, over this weekend as well. That'd be kind of interesting to see them. I haven't seen um, any of the wave events except for the that D-U-H-O-L one um, that's in the corner. But they've changed it since I've been there. Um, when I was there, it was mostly really high um, maturity mobs. And they've, I guess, mixed it up, gave it more of a spread of maturity and so might have to go check that out at some point as well. Oh man, that was a big hit. I better heal. Let's see 
just sort of skill boost we've generated there. 19%. Yeah, that's not amazing. But I see we've already got another 5% on this uh, codex. I said I was wanting to burn that out, but I think I might switch gears here for a second and just try to put some of these down. And we'll save that gun for um, when we do the CUHOF um, challenge or the the dungeon crawl and so I'm not gonna do real well loot wise on these because you see my looter levels under level 30 so I haven't even unlocked um, some of the peripheral skills that go into um, getting better loot I think um, there's a lot of different theories on loot composition and total loot return I know with the main skill that low, um, I won't be getting much that's not the really common loot. Um, if the last time I was on Tolan, when I was working on my animal looter, um, I was doing okay, mostly uh, shrapnel though, um, and then I chipped in uh, a 10 pet chip of uh, skinning, and uh, I had to really think for a second on the the name of the what that skill was um, and then I noticed that my loot composition had shifted a little bit and I started uh, occasionally getting like extractors or um, hides very very rarely oh it looks like there's a, some more people joining the this section um, which is cool um, it means hopefully they'll be able to spawn that boss mob. Um, I don't really know how many kills it takes to spawn it. Um, but there was a bunch of people here last night um, after the event started. And it was, I want to say every 20, 30 minutes they were calling that another boss mob had spawned with about 5, 6 people killing. Kind of how it is here. Um, and so we'll hope that we can get um, one of those level 80 bosses to spawn for us.
it's also my understanding that these mobs are tied to that new um, citizenship quest that they put in, um, in which you can earn Tolan citizenship. Um, at, you have to get the, your Nawakor whatever upgraded to the three, I think it is. There's an MK1, which is what I have right now. Um, and then you do gather the parts to upgrade it to the two, um, and then finally the three. Oh, and see how that guy's not fully formed? Um, in the past, when I've attacked one like that, they actually close the hitbox on me. Um, and it doesn't let me attack him. And so I'm going to skip that one. Because even though he's, you see he's appeared now, um, before, like, I would attack and he'd flip back into that other little weird mode where he sh shrinks into, like, this tiny thing, flies at me like that. He'll still be able to hit me, but I won't be able to hit him. Um, and I'm, so I'm not sure if that is, has to do with, um, the planet itself or just, um, I guess my computer on my end. But in any event, I, we're going to skip that guy. I don't want no part of that. There's a little global. That was a nice one, like uh, 60, 69 ped, 70 ped. Let's look. It'll be under systems. It'll be under global. I lied. Oh, yep, 70 ped. That's pretty epic right there. We're going to kill for a little longer. I want to get a little more of this challenge built back up. I'm still hoping they'll... Uh, sp we can spawn that uh, boss mob here in the next 10 minutes or so. I'll jump in on that. Um, if not, we'll probably bag it. Um, I'll switch to my little la laser rifle. Nope. Oh, I should probably stop and heal too. So hopefully he won't circle me. we're going to try and push up to about 20-25% to the next uh, codex rank. And that's probably about as far as we'll get on these. Although I have noticed we're getting a reasonable amount of uh, looting skills. And that's because I'm pushing that scourging up. That's probably 30-35% of the looter profession. Um, and it's actually one of my lagging skills because I've done so much of that tree harvesting on Calypso, Rocktopia, and now Tolan. that my peripheral looting skills are relatively high comparatively. Um, like I think I have like a two, 3,000 analysis. I'll just pull it up. Yeah, 3,700 analysis. Um, and then so obviously I have some zoology skill. Um, for the mutant looter I have um, genetics um, to get from the uh, 
tree harvesting as well. Looks like we're getting about half a percent per kill or so. Um, and so that's pretty nice. Only means it's a couple hundred kills to get to the next codex rank. All right, we've hit that 20% mark. It doesn't look like we've been able to generate a boss um, at this time. Maybe we'll try and check back in um, before this event's over. I hope everyone is having an epic day.